Okay, so let's solve this problem. So to solve for the simple interest problems, and these are the different formulas we're going to use. So to find the interest, that's equal to the principal times the rate times the time. And to find the maturity value, so we have the principal amount plus the interest. And also, we can find the principal amount using the maturity value over 1 plus the rate times the time. So, for this even, to find the time and the interest, since we can find first the interest using this formula, so we have the maturity value equals the principal plus the interest because the maturity value is given so this is 80,000 equals the principal amount that's 65,000 then plus the interest and to solve for the interest so transpose this 65,000 so this becomes 80,000 minus 65,000 equals the interest. So this 80,000 minus 65,000. So we have 80,000 minus this 65,000 equals so the interest is 15,000 pesos. So we have 15,000 for the interest. Then this time we can solve now for the time using this formula. So we have the interest equals the principal amount times the rate times the time. Then for the interest, so that's 15,000 equals the principal amount. This is 65,000 times the rate. So the rate is 4%. So convert this one to decimal. So just divide this one by 100. This is equal to 0 0.04. So the rate is 0 0.04. Then times the time. So the time is the unknown. Then we have now 15,000 equals this 65,000 times 0 0.04. So we have this 65,000 times 0 0.04 equals that's 2,600. So this is equal to 2,600 then times the time. And to solve for the time, divide both sides by 2,600, then cancel. So we can find now the time. So we have this 15,000 divided by 2,600 equals to so the time is 5.77. So the time is 5.77. Then for this problem, so to find the rate, since we can find the rate using this formula, so we have the interest equals the principal times the rate times the time. Then we have this given interest. That's 9,500 equals the principal. This is 43,000. Then times the rate is the unknown. Then times since the given time is in months. So we need to convert this 9 months to a year. So just divide this 9 by 12. And 9 divide by 12. So 9 divided by 12 equals that 0 0.75. So this is 0 0.75 for the time. 
then to simplify so we have 9500 equals multiply this 43000 and 0 0.75 so we have 43000 times 0 0.75 equals that's 32,250 so we have 32,250 then times the rate then to find the rate so divide both sides by 32,250 so 32,250 then cancel so we have the rate equals so this 9500 divided by 32250 equals so we have 0 0.2945 then to convert this one in percentage so just multiply this by 100 equals so that's equal to 29.2 46 percent so the rate is 29.46 percent then this time to find the maturity value using this formula so the maturity value equals the principal plus the interest and the principal amount that's 43,000 plus the interest that's 9,500 so we have 43,000 plus this 9,500 equals so the maturity value is 52,500 then for this problem so to find the principal amount with the given rate, time, and the maturity value. So we can use now this formula to find the principal amount. So we have the principal equals the maturity value over 1 times the rate times the time. So substitute now the values. So for the maturity value, this is 50,000 in over 1 plus the rate. So this 5.3 divided this 1 by 100 to convert this one to decimal. So this is 0 0.053. So the rate is 0 0.053. Then times the time. And the time is 4.2. Then to simplify, so this is 50,000 in over 1 plus the product of these numbers. So we have 0 0.053 then times 4.2 equals that's 0 0.2226. So this is 0 0.2226. Then to find now the principal amount, so we have 50,000 in over, so this one plus 0 0.2226, this is 1.226. Then to find now the principal amount, so we have 50,000, then divide by 1.2. 2226 equals so the principal amount is 40,896.45. So this is 40,896.45. Then this time to find out the interest using this formula. So we have the maturity value equals the principal plus the interest. And for the maturity value, this is 50,000 equals the principal amount. 
that's 40,896.45 plus the interest, this is the unknown, then transpose this 40,000, so we have 50,000 in minus 40,896.45 and this is equal to the interest. So to find now the interest, so we have 50,000 then minus 40,896.45 equals that's 9,103.55. So the interest is 9,103.55.